guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna and if you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Now this will be a plan with me for the very first week of January, which is just right around the corner. Today is the 30th of December, so I'll be working on this for the upcoming week. And I believe I loaded it, um, but the week of Christmas, I kept it in the vertical layout. And I gotta tell you, it was actually really difficult for me. Once I started placing the stickers, it was easy because I knew I was gonna be covering most of this up um, because I, I, I had not planned on coming back to this page during this week. But when I was initially looking at it, I, I really did not know if I were ever to go back to the vertical layout, what I would use these boxes for because there's both a lot of boxes and not enough. So if you can tell, I am back to uh, creating the dashboard layout uh, from the Super Mom Happy Planner in my vertical and it is a bit of work and by a bit of work, it, um, I usually can get this done in like three minutes and let it dry, but it is more work than just, you know, jumping right in. I do use the uh, Jelly Roll pen from Sakura in point eight. Um, and I use that as the whiteout for the lines. And then I leave the lines because that denotes the different boxes that I wanna do. This is two and five eighths, two and five eighths, and then this is a little smaller than that, but that's okay. Um, as I've mentioned before, my measuring skills are not that great, especially when you start deviating from like the 0.5 or the 0.75. Once you get into those other little lines, yeah, that's just, it's gonna be what it is. I did white out the top because this is where the, the the weekly dates are. And I usually do a whole strip of washi, usually a couple, because the washi that I have is not thick enough. And this week, I decided to just put a little bit of washi and I really don't care that I can see the whiteout. I, I actually really do not care that it's there. I put the dates down because I have been writing the days and then putting the dates and I think this might be easier. Uh, this washi here, if I can find it, uh, for Christmas, my brother bought me the Happy Planner Washi set, and I think it's super cute. Sorry for the rustling. And the reason why I think it's super cute is because it's sectioned off. So in this first section, and oh, let me get back to this. I had intended to do, I had not intended to do a flip through, but we're here, so let's let's just try this out. So it is in the washi style, so it's mostly strips like this. And what I think is really cute about this is at the top here, it actually tells you what it's intended to be used for. Now I actually use this in my Big Happy Planner because I don't care, it's mine. Um, but I think it's really cute, especially if you have multiple planners, because um, at the top of every page, it tells you uh, what it's sized for. And I think the colors are really fun and pretty. And I don't know if this is new. I don't know that I've ever seen anyone, at least on YouTube, use it, but it was new for me and I was super excited that one, I got it, and that two, um, my brother was aware of my happy planner, um, I'm not gonna say obsession, cause that makes it sound negative, but obsession. So <laughs> classic happy planner stickers and classic happy planner stickers. And I'm thinking it's for one side and then the other side where it's smaller, I, I don't know. Again, classic Happy Planner stickers. 
and then it goes into the big. Yay! And I should have used this for my big one. It might have covered more space, but it, it would have involved more flipping. And I, yeah, I didn't care. So, again, big happy planner. Big happy planner. Fits all of the planners. Fits all of the planners. All of the planners. All of the planners. And you're thinking, just stop saying that because clearly that's that's what's left. Um, all of the planners. Again, all of the planners. But wait, there's more. This fits the mini. Now this is what made it so awesome because as I was flipping on Christmas Eve, when I opened this up, because that's when we celebrate, I'm like, oh, I guess they didn't have anything for the mini. And then bam, mini right there. Yeah, yeah, that's what this is. This isn't my usual washi strip here. And I hope you're in frame. So we're going to get started. And because I have this out, I'm actually going to look for some stickers for right here. And I don't know if I will carry it out throughout the rest of the month, but for this week, um, it looks like it's going to be just a green and black kind of spread. Now, if you saw the last part of my Newbie to Newbie series, although, yeah, no, I'm gonna probably load those this and that one at around the same time I cut my finger because you know on wax paper roll where it says this edge is really sharp they're not lying I cut myself trying to get some wax paper to do a planner video see it's because I love you guys that I will put myself in harm's way <laughs> mm. but it does make it difficult to to maneuver so yeah <laughs> and I don't like that space there I'll deal with it and as I typically do in my big happy planner um, I'm probably gonna fast forward through this next part while I write out my days of the week and then do this section here and then yeah I'll, co I'll come back on once I've, I've done with all of that
this is my spread, my weekly spread for Monday, uh, December 31st through Sunday, January 6th. And I do, like I've mentioned before, use this for my um, social media and business planning. Well, I don't use it for planning, clearly. I haven't put anything down, um, but it is a landing spot of things that I have done. So it's more of a journal, I, I guess you could say, than an actual uh, planning of events. So if there were like a craft fair or something that I would um, be part of, then you know I, I would definitely plan for that. Um, I also have certain amount of videos that I do every week that I, I do, um, but I, I need to figure out what that's going to be for this week. I am off half day on Monday the 31st and all of Tuesday, so I might be uh, utilizing those days to do some more filming as well as editing. I did start a new blog. I had one um, that I just wasn't really happy with, so I started a new one. I'll go ahead and link that below. There's only like one or, or two posts on there, but that is something that I do want to um, continue to develop. I want to do not just plan with me videos, but some other uh, creative uh, videos regarding uh, planning so uh, that'll be something I, I might be doing on a weekly basis and then just migrating it over into a master list or whatever I do track what I'm doing on Instagram and Facebook I post every single day to Instagram and more often than not to Facebook as well um, but for the new year, I might need to be more intentional on what I am posting because the page that I use on Instagram is my own personal. So you'll see, you'll see me, you'll see um, planner related things, you'll see work related things, you'll see my Etsy shop related things, and that's going to continue. I don't plan on changing that. I don't plan on making another Instagram account um, because I mean I. I'm sure I should keep it separate, but it, it's all f focused around me, so um, I am going to keep just the one page, but I might be more intentional with uh, posting items that I've listed in my shops um, so that people can see it and hopefully drive some traffic there, because I do get views, at least in my JoJo shop, which is my paper crafting shop, um, but not so much in my crochet shop, and it could be just because it's not something people are interested in, or people just aren't aware that it's there. I do also want to get more um, involved in my Pinterest account, and again, I'll link that below, uh, but yeah, it's a really simple spread. I love the doodles. This was an is continued to be inspired by Pick Candle. She's here on YouTube. She also uh, came out with a couple of books. I purchased one and I'm waiting for it to come in the mail from Amazon uh, just because they're simple. Um, this guy, he's, he's giving me life right now because I thought he was starting out mad and now it's like he's smirking at me. I won't be using this as a mood tracker. I don't find that very helpful. It's a little bit restrictive um, if you're just coloring, assuming you only have the one mood a day. So it's just going to be a landing spot and probably for future doodles. And yeah, this is, this is me for this week. If you have any suggestions or ideas um, for me in regards to videos you'd like to see or, you know, how you've done on your Instagram or Facebook page, blog ideas you'd like me to talk about, definitely leave a comment below. I do always read them. I get notifications on my phone, but I don't always uh, get a chance to make comments in the same day, but certainly within the week I will go ahead and um, respond, if, if just by putting a little heart so that you know I've seen it. But I do also try to respond with a comment for any comment that I receive. So guys, as always, or actually before I do my as always, um, I hope if you're watching this within the time frame that I'm filming that you and yours have a very happy, safe, and prosperous new year. And as always, aloha. Thank you.